see any, make sure you stay far away from them, all right? Okay, now, I gotta go. But wherever you are, stay safe. I'll see you again soon, sweetheart. Ooh, working on something important. Oh, hey, darling. Uh, didn't hear you come in. Turns out our radio connection between the hub and the ASAMs works just fine. I was just recording a message for someone. Oh? Uh, yeah. Well, after the whole gunner thing, I just... Uh, well... It's kind of... Ah, this is awkward. I was sort of hoping to keep this private. <laughs> what I wouldn't give for an interruption right now. Search complete. Huh? Oh, right. I asked the robot to find my screwdriver. <laughs> Good timing. Um, I don't mean to question logic, Chip, but does that look like a screwdriver to you? Affirmative. You know what? You're right. Turns out this hammer is my screwdriver after all. Good work. Now, why don't you go patrol or something? Protect and serve. Uh, that thought ain't right. Anything I can do to help? Hmm. Tell you what, darling. If you can find my screwdriver, I'll tell you who I was recording a message for. It's probably past time I told you anyway. Sound fair? Not even a hint. Come on, I deserve it. <laughs> Sorry. If you want to know, you got to find my screwdriver. That's the deal. Screw you, then. All right. Deal. All right, then. We have ourselves a gentleman's agreement. Here. Hey, you found it. Thanks. It was driving me nuts looking for this thing. Okay, you held up your side of the deal. I'll spill the beans on who I was recording that message for. Ready for a little history of Jake? What kind of history are we talking here? Well, I gotta set the stage a little. You can't just open the book of my life and flip to the middle. Tell me the whole story. All right. Full backstory it is. So, as I'm sure you already figured out, I'm not exactly local to these parts. I come from a settlement called Sanford. You ever heard of it? It's a nice place. Providing you don't mind the odd cyclone or two. That sounds pretty dangerous. What? The cyclones? Nah, they ain't that bad. Once you learn the habit to nail things down, you barely notice them. Anyway, that's where I grew up and became a young man. And where I met this young woman. One thing led to another, and... Uh, well, you know how it goes. You met someone and had a son, and... I met someone and had a... Do you... have a daughter? Yeah, that's right. I had a little girl. I named her Laura. And from the moment she was born, that kid became my world. <gasps> what the... Oh, that damn generator again! This is the fifth time it stalled today! Well, if something's wrong, maybe I can help. It's the old plutonium well. The generator that kickstarts the fission reaction. It's been real temperamental lately. Hey, you, if you wouldn't mind, could you go get it started again for me? It probably just needs refueling.
<clears throat> ah, got the generator humming again, I see. Thanks. It's no fun trying to work in the dark. Now, uh, where was I? Oh, right. So, years pass, and Laura grows up. However, me and her mom, Caitlin, we ended up drifting apart and separating. But I'd still see Laura all the time, though. And when she'd stay with her mom, we'd keep in touch the radio. So, one day, I broadcast our usual radio time to say goodnight. But there's no response. Now, you gotta understand, Laura's the most punctual kid you'd ever meet. She was never late for anything. Naturally, I begin to panic a little, worrying if something bad might have happened to her. So I rush over to Caitlin's house and... What happened? Lost some targets. What is that robot? Oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> Could you go lend the bucket of bolts a hand? As annoying as it can be sometimes, it'd be a pain in the ass to have to rebuild it. Caitlin's house, gun in hand and ready for the worst. I opened the door and there was no one there. What do you mean? What happened? At first I thought someone must have broken into the place, abducted Caitlin and my kid. The more I looked around, the more I realized everything was tidy. No signs of struggle. And then I noticed all their belongings were missing. I ran to Laura's room, all her toys, books, even her ham radio was gone. They hadn't been kidnapped. They just packed up and left. You didn't know? They didn't tell you? Caitlin sure didn't. And I doubt Laura knew anything about it. Well, there's no way in hell I was gonna let Caitlin just disappear with my daughter. After asking around, I found out they booked passage on a caravan. They'd set off that very morning. I dashed back home, gathered a few essentials, and set off in pursuit. There's nothing worse than losing a child. Believe me, I know. Yeah, you understand. Anyway, I tracked that damn caravan halfway across the wasteland. By the time I caught up with it, it had made its final stop. Here, in the Commonwealth. Caitlin and Laura had already departed. But I knew where they were now. Since then, I've put out a radio message every night. Hoping Laura might hear it. Know that her dad is out here looking for her. After our little run-in with the Gunners, I needed to warn her to stay away from them. I know she probably won't hear it, but... But still, I had to try. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just... I've not really spoken to anyone about Laura since I got here. <laughs> Unless you count the Ron. Anyway, thanks for listening. Feels good to file a share. Get everything off my chest. Oh, what is it now? Feral dwarves? Irradiated death claws? What? What's all this about death claws? Oh, old Paul! <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't expecting visitors. Oh, old Paul! <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, I wasn't expecting visitors. Oh, old Paul. Sorry, I wasn't expecting visitors. Hey. Oh, it's you. How's it going, Paul? Well, cheese and crackers. You must be the ones with the Asim sensors, eh? Uh, me and my partner here, yeah. And they're called Asims. Is it true what the old geezer said? Can Asims really help build up settlements? 
Well, sure. As long as what your settlement needs are some homes or farms or a scrap heap. But I should warn you, recently there's been some trouble with... Gee, a scrap heap? Well, that settles it. We'll take 100 assums, please. Ah, uh, how many caps does that come to? Whoa, whoa, slow down. We're not just peddling some product here. Besides, I'm not even sure we should be handing these things out anymore. What do you mean? Why not? Hey, don't tell me you've already forgotten. That Aiden guy may have been a Brahmin's ass, but he did have a point. It's a fair bet that settlement got attacked because they used ASAMs. Who's to say the same thing wouldn't happen again? Maybe you're right. I'm just not sure it's right to give out sensors to random settlements no more. Not if it puts them in danger. If you're concerned about giving sensors out to strangers, why not have them join us instead? I've got no problem defending those we bring into the fold. Hey, we'd be happy to join with you. Right now we're kind of living rough, so whatever it takes to get some assums, eh? I don't know. Look, I don't see what the problem is here. Things are different now. We ain't just dealing with raiders or the odd mutant anymore. Can you honestly say it's the right thing to have these people join us? You need to decide, Jake. What's it gonna be? I... I don't know. After the whole gunner thing. What do you think, darling? What's the right thing to do? I want to hear the details first. Oh, sure thing. See, me and a whole bunch of others, we had to flee our old home. And the place we've taken up ain't all that great. We could really use some help, so we'd be happy to join you. Don't worry. I'll get you up and running. Really? You'd have us? Oh, geez, thanks. I still think we may be asking for trouble. But I think you're right. We can't be scared to help folks. Okay, let's do this. Oh, you really don't know what this means to us. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Welcome to the family. Uh, I'm sorry, what's your name? Hubert. Here, I'll mark where we're staying on your Pip-Boy. I'll run ahead and tell the others. Meet you there, eh? I'll tag along with the youngin. I'm fairly familiar with sensors by now. I'll get his people up to speed before you arrive. Here, darling, take these. A few extra ASAMs, in case you need them. Let's get these folks up and running. And if the gunners do show up again, well, we'll just have to put them in their place, won't we? I'm gonna get back to repairing the hub. Oh, and, uh, thanks again for listening today. Good luck now. <laughs>